Good morning, everyone. Before we begin, we'd like to acknowledge that the land upon which we gather is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Distinguished guests, if possible, could you please rise for the graduates? Have a seat, please. Thank you. So good morning, everyone. I'd like to extend a, a warm welcome to CRHS staff, friends, and family. My name is Rebecca Yu, and I'm one of the vice principals here at Charlottetown Rural. I'm joined on stage by my administrative colleagues, Ms. Brenda Bryden, Mr. Dale McIsaac, Mr. Stephen Wynn. This year, the rural had a grad class of 373 students, and we have approximately 358 who are participating in ceremonies, including today. So, what is today all about? Well, today we celebrate their hard work and wish them well as they move towards the next chapter in their lives. So allow me to be the first to say to you, the grads of 2022, congratulations. Graduates, guests, staff, administrators. There are three reasons why Charlottetown Rural High School continues to be one of the top schools in the country. Our supportive school community, our tremendous staff, and our terrific students. Our school community members have shown us many times this year how supportive they are of the school, how important what goes on here is to them, and how appreciative they are of all the opportunities provided to the students. This support was demonstrated by the over $2,000 donated during Staff Appreciation Week in February. We also felt this support from the many volunteer coaches and others who gave of their time and talent to the many athletic teams and groups in the school. We received hundreds of emails to thank teachers for their extra effort during our online learning and for accommodating students who were struggling with school mostly as a result of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. We received thank yous for all the extra help, the extra time, and the extra attention that the staff provided to allow students to be as successful as possible. I want to say a special thank you to Patricia Callahan, our home and school chairperson. Patricia has been involved in home and school 
since her children entered the system. And it's fitting that we acknowledge all the support that she has been to our school, to the schools in our family. So thank you to Patricia and the entire school community for all your support of Charlottetown Road. The staff here at the Merle are top notch. The 100 people who come to work here every day do a tremendous job of caring for the students, the public, and the building. And beyond the excellent teaching that happens here every day, there are so many extra opportunities for students to connect to their school and experience a well-rounded education. The staff provide close to 50,000 volunteer hours each year because they care about the quality of your children's education. You can be confident that this staff is one of the best in the country. The support staff and custodial team work equally as hard to ensure the public feels welcome, the lines of communication are kept open, and to ensure the building is well maintained. All the employees at Charlottetown Rural understand their role in providing a quality experience for everyone connected to our school, and I want to thank them for their continued commitment. There are a few from this group who are retiring at the end of the school year, and we want to thank them for their many years at Charlottetown Rural. Mr. Philip Pirlo joined the Charlottetown Rural staff in 1995. He taught many social studies courses, photography, theater arts, and others before transitioning to program coordinator for our International Baccalaureate program. Mr. Pirlo guided the IB program through two program reviews, both with very positive results. And Philip contributed many hours to extracurricular activities as well, from theater productions, agricultural awareness projects, canoe trips, and lots of community service. Mr. Pirlo was always available to assist students who were keen on maximizing their high school experience. Mr. Mole Monaghan has been our welding and automotive teacher here since 1994. He has nurtured an interest in these trades for many young people. He's always been skilled at offering advice, not opinions, making suggestions, not demands, and providing options, not ultimatums. He ran a tight ship, and all the students respected him for the professionalism that he modeled. And those students who chose to be were very well prepared for the next level. Mo also contributed many hours of volunteer time to activities at the school. His talents were often on display, and he thoroughly enjoyed these opportunities to be involved Mrs. Kim McBurney began teaching in Charlton Rural in 1999. Mrs. McBurney was a leader in the integration of technology into our province's education curriculum, and she modeled best practices in this area for many pilot teachers. Her time at CRHS was interrupted on occasion to help the Department of Education update curriculum, but while she was here, she taught many science courses for us, she continued to help with the IB program as a chemistry instructor. Mrs. McBurney really knew her stuff. This past year, she's been dealing with some health issues, so is not able to be with us today. Ms. Ruth McDonald has been a cleaner here for 10 years. She, too, has had some significant health issues the past few years, and under doctor's advice, has decided to retire. We will miss the experience and commitment of these staff members and all they've invested in the school, but we wish them all the best in their retirement. Now the class of 2022, a very talented group. We started at Charlton Road together three years ago, and it's been my pleasure to watch them learn, mature, and succeed. They have excelled in the classroom, in many sport venues, at provincial and national skill and debate competitions, and in many, many activities in our community. 
Their accomplishments are impressive indeed. But the most impressive attribute of this group has been their positive response to all the rules and regulations they faced as a result of the pandemic. They've done everything that we've asked of them. They understood how important it was to be together and in school. And they responded by doing their, their part. They sanitized their hands multiple times a day. They cleaned desks and other equipment before and after using it. They wore their masks all the time. Well, sure, there were a few who regularly showed off their nose. But for the vast majority, they followed all the rules so they could be together. And we are very proud of them for that and we'll remember them as a very cooperative and caring group. And now, graduates, as you finish up your time as a Raider, please know that you are as prepared as possible for the next step. Some of you will begin your journey with small steps, and some of you have plans to take on huge challenges. The school community and the Charlottetown World staff have great faith in you and wish you all the best. Congratulations to the class of 2022. Thank you, Mr. McIsaac. So, guests, just make note of the following. The graduates will be queued for their the formal line on the far left wall. Their name will be read, and they will approach the stage and receive the diploma and exit on my right. You can see on the far side on the right, we have a picture area set up along the backdrop of the Charlottetown Rural logo. There will be plenty of time for photos, we promise, and at the end of the ceremony, you're welcome to stay here and take additional pictures as needed. Graduates, after you have crossed the stage, had your picture taken, we ask you to return to your seat, please. Uh, the convocation, this entire session will officially end after the playing of God Save the Queen. And if you have a program in front of you, you should note that students with a diamond next to the name are graduates from the International Baccalaureate Program, and grads with an asterisk next to their name have been designated as having attained honors. One other note, in some cases, the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship uh, are based on conditional offers, so the value of the scholarship may change depending on the student's final transcript. All right, let's begin with the presentation of diplomas. Graduates, if you please rise. And Ms. Bright, I'll turn the microphone over to you. Sadef is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Summer Karskadden Ford. <laughs> Summer is awarded a prize for achievement in Biology 801. <laughs> Connor Frazier. Connor is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Keshev King. Keshev is awarded a PEI Mutual Education Trust Scholarship 
the Rob McCrae Memorial Bursary, a St. Dunstan's University $2,000 Board of Governors Award, and a UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Alexis LaPere. Alexis is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Liam McDonald. <laughs> Liam is presented with the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Randy McIntyre. Randy is awarded the M. Blanche McLean Award and the Mighty Oaks Academy $500 Award for Early Childhood Care and Education in memory of Tracy Lynch. Sebastian McMillan. Sebastian is being presented with the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Science in a one and environmental science six to one in the University of New Brunswick uh, scholarship of two thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> Shay Boyer. Shay is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Hannah Chico. <laughs> Hannah is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Fatima Tahir. is awarded the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement Scholarship. <laughs> Zoe Bessie. <laughs> Zoe is awarded the Eustace Insurance Bursary and a prize for achievement in Culinary Skills 801. Tyler Young. Tyler is awarded a prize for achievement in mathematics 61K. Kelly Bay Younger. Kelly is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award.
At this time, I would like to ask the 2022 valedictorian, Pete Christie, to approach the podium, please. Good morning, everyone. Uh, before I begin, I would like to welcome everyone here today. Parents, grandparents, family members, guardians, staff, and most importantly, our 2022 Charlottetown Road graduates. Just under a month ago, I was named the 2022 valedictorian for this very school. It started with a simple application, detailing what I must do to apply and questions such as, tell us why you deserve this title. So simple, yet it has blossomed into something so incredible. Who would have thought that a piece of paper would allow me, Pete Christie, to stand at the threshold of your futures and cut the finish line ribbon with scissors of resignation, motivation, and congratulations. Although for some, I am not cutting the finish line ribbon at all. For some, I am speaking you towards the floodgates of the real world, indeed intimidating but full of opportunity. June the 3rd of this year was a day of epiphany for me. It started out as a typical school day just until the afternoon. At approximately half past two, I presented my sample speech in front of my peers. For about five minutes, I stood at this same podium, showing my fellow students what I would be like as a catalyst to the new world and a representative of our accomplishment. When the clock struck 2.35 p.m., I concluded, followed by a round of applause and a heart rate to burst out of my chest. However, it was not within any of the moments preceding the end of my speech on June 3rd, 2022, at 2.35 p.m., that I had had a realization of this magnitude. It was the very moment after, 2.35 p.m. again, the moment I sat back down for my sample speech, that I was struck with that epiphany I mentioned earlier. For any of you who are familiar with the term valedictorian, you may know it is simply an anglicized derivation of the term say goodbye in Latin. I find that funny. I find that very underselling of this position in which I am so honored to have received. Valedictorians from any year to any school usually abide by that definition of the name. But I'd like to take a different approach. Because no one wants a cliché, an immemorable conclusion to such an important day. On June 3rd at 2.35 p.m. I sat down for my sample speech. I cracked a smile sitting in my chair in front of the crowd. I realized I am doing so much more than saying farewell to our lives over the last 18 years. More than saying farewell to the same era we learned to tie our shoes with bunny ears. The era our guardians gave us that first boost to get our bikes going with their training wheels and sat with us at the table while tears dampened the page full of problems like five plus five. To the same era of slamming a door with a string tied to your wiggling tooth, of scurrying to switch tabs from cool math games to a blank Google Doc as your teacher passed by, of sitting at the cafeteria table surrounded by your friends, in the same era we nervously traversed those first driving lessons, I am most definitely not simply saying farewell to. Instead, at 2.35 p.m. on June 3rd, I realized I am saying hello to something so much bigger. Hello to a new era of getting acceptance letters to colleges and universities where we can pursue what we love most. Hello to an era of discovering passion an era in which we will grow exponentially and independently, as if we've outgrown the stakes a tree uses to get through the times it isn't strong enough to stand up on its own. Hello to soon having, pay, having to pay our own bills, sadly. <laughs> and hello to an era to choose for ourselves who we will share our lives with. Hello to the development of our true selves. I am, not, I am saying hello for each and every one of my peers to the rest of our lives. Throughout these times, transitioning from childhood to adulthood, 
Our parents and guardians have given their all to provide for us and made sacrifices so we can celebrate this day. To every guardian, whether they were able to be in this crowd or not, that helped get us here today, we cannot thank you enough. And I cannot forget the importance of our teachers. They motivated us, encouraged us, and saw our unique potential. Often the same ones pretending not to see us playing cool math games at the back of the class. The great things we will do are rooted in the teachers who impacted us most. Thank you to every teacher who helped get us here today so we can all greet the life ahead of us. So graduates, let this ceremony be your version of my epiphany on June 3rd, 2.35 p.m., 2022. My epiphany that we must greet the future with open arms and not dwell on the past. My epiphany that focusing on and celebrating moving forward is so much more important than reminiscence. When you hit another one of these 2.35 p.m.s in your life, moving from one stage to the next, don't mourn the loss of familiar ways. Have no regrets and look forward to what the future will bring. I am not ending this with a goodbye and I do not want tears. This is a greeting. Let this mark a hello to each and every one of your futures. Congratulations, class of 2022. We made it. Thank you. 